Today we're going to be building a three place one sided kayak rack, but before we do that, we're going to go through the hardware kit that comes with every rack. This video is going to be an instructional video and it is going to be used as an aid for the printed out instructions. Okay, now in each hardware kit, you're going to get three inch deck screws and the important thing about these is there's a hole on each side of the arm on the post and you're going to want to make sure you get each, two screws on each side of every arm that comes with your rack. You will have three inch GRK screws and this bag also comes with the T25 and T30 bits. You will have your four inch GRK screws. You're also going to get glue and you're going to need this glue to glue every hole that you have for your arms, your cross rope, and your feet. You're going to get extra screws in case you ever need them. And you're also going to get your printed out instructions, which as I said before, this video is going to be used as an aid for these instructions. Now when you use your, your bit, you're going to need an extender and when you open up the packaging and you want to put the bit in, all you have to do is just insert this and then insert this into the drill. Which you're also going to need a drill. Um, any kind will work. And you're also going to need a mallet to hammer every piece in. Today we're going to be building a three place kayak rack. A one sided rack which you can buy from logkayakrack.com. So now, what we're going to do we're going to have to glue the three holes you see on the rack. So you're going to glue it. You're going to swirl it around in there. Now, you're going to look for the lower arm. How you can identify the lower arm? There is a hole right here. And when you find that lower arm, you're going to take your mallet and you're going to put it in the bottom hole. You're going to take your upper arm, you're going to put it in the top two holes that you see for the arm. You're going to hit it. You're going to take your four inch GRK, GRK screws, the four inch GRK screws, and you're going to place those in the pre drilled holes that are under each arm. And once you've got the four inch GRK screws in there, you're just going to screw each one in. So you're going to screw this one. facing the arms. And you're going to hammer it in. And again, I'll give you a side angle. Once it's hammered in, you're going to want to see, you can see it on the rack, that the longer side of the foot is on the arm side. The short side has no arms on it whatsoever. You're also going to want to make sure the foot on your rack is straight. So you're going to want to take your 3 inch GRK screws where there are pre-drilled holes on the sides of the feet. You're going to want to put them in there. So once you have both feet of the rack in, you're going to want to glue the two holes you see here and there. This is an upper cross rail, and how you can tell that is because there's a U on the tenon, which means upper. You're going to put the upper cross rail on the top part of the rack, and then you're going to take your lower cross rail, and you're going to put it in the lower hole. You're going to want to take your 4 inch GRK screws and you're going to want to insert one right here 
you're gonna also want to insert another four inch GRK screw right in here as well. You're gonna set the second part of the rack down and you're gonna glue the holes here and there as well. Now for this part, what you're gonna to wanna to do, you're gonna to wanna to pick up your rack and you're gonna insert the cross rails. You're gonna to wanna to insert the cross rail into the bottom hole here, right here. And then you're also gonna to wanna to make sure you can get the cross rail into the top hole here. Once the cross rails are in both holes, you're gonna start hammering the mills in. Once you have the cross rails hammered in, you're gonna to wanna to take your four inch here K screws. You're gonna to wanna to put one in the pre-drilled hole here. 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 And then one in the pre-drilled hole on the side right here, and then another one right here. This is a very important step that you're not gonna wanna miss. So you're gonna have to take your three inch deck screws and there's a hole on this part of the arm right here and this part right here. So on each side of every arm, there's a pre-drilled hole. And what you're gonna wanna make sure you do is you're going to want to take your three inch deck screws and you're going to want to insert them on both sides of each arm. Okay, so what you should be seeing here is the three inch deck screws on both sides of each arm as you can see right here. There are three inch deck screws on both sides of each arm. You're going to want to make sure each arm is straight before you screw it in. Each three inch deck screw should be inserted on the arms by this point. There should be a two on each side. Now we're on one of the last steps, which is getting these in place. What you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna wanna take that, this, and you're gonna wanna slide it down. You're gonna take your mallet, and you're gonna hit it in until it is level. Okay, so this side is level. Okay, and this side looks level now. You're gonna wanna take your last two four inch GRK screws. You're gonna insert one here. What you're gonna wanna do here is take your three inch deck screws and you're gonna insert them in the pre-drilled holes right here. There are two pre-drilled holes close together on the front side of the lower arm supports. And on the back side, there's two pre-drilled holes that are wider apart. You insert one in each of those pre-drilled holes. And there you have a completed one-sided rack. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy your time on the water.